Hello, this is a vlog about, I don't know, jewelry? Finger nail polish? No! This is about the black keys. Okay? And it's a flow episode. I like to call this the flow hairstyle. Yeah! <laughs> no, no, I, I don't know. It's just called flow, I guess. I don't know. Better than, like, I, I usually have, like, parted down, like, shh, shh, but not today. I'm a changed man. Now, this is the top of my episode today. Can the Black Keys bring back rock and roll? Hopefully they can. I swear to God. Like, I'm getting sick of this generation crap. Like, some people, like, it's just my taste in music. I, I prefer old music. It just seems better, like, like, I know some of my friends and stuff like rap and stuff, but, like, I don't really see, uh, like, this is my own opinion. Like, you, you could say, oh, rock and roll sucks ass. I prefer rap or dubstep or, uh, what's it called? Hip-hop, I think. Hip-hop, electronica, whatever you want. Whatever you want is what I'm trying to say. This is just, like, an open video to anyone. It's about music, okay? If you like rap, you like rap. If you like rock and roll, you like rock and roll. If you like class rock, you like class rock. If you like hip-hop, you like hip-hop. you like electronica, you like, like electronica. I'm doing tongue twists with my tongue here. You like, uh, heavy metal, even. You like heavy metal. You like death metal. You like death metal. You like prog, prog rock. You like that, like Rush. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna say some, uh, 25 interesting facts about the Black Keys here. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, did you know the Black Keys helped judge on the 9th Annual Independent Music Awards to support independent artists' careers? I did not know that, actually, and I, in case you weren't, I'm just reading up this website and just reading it off, like, directly in front of me, like, directly. And, based on the picture, it looks like the Patrick Carney, the drummer of the Black Keys, uses a Ludwig. I'm pretty sure that's what Ringo Starr uses, or used. I'm not sure if he plays drums anymore, like, in live performances. I think he does, though. I'm not... Exactly that sure or clear on that. So, um, let's see what we got here. They're headliners. The Black Keys were a headliner at the 10th annual Bonnaroo Festival in 2011 and are headlining an arena tour in 2012. Well, if I look at my, uh, invisible watch right here, it's kind of 2013 now, so. This must be old. It must be not have been updated or something like that. I don't know. But whatever, yeah. That's good, I guess, that they, uh, headline acts. They're big winners. The Keys have won three Grammys awards, three Grammys awards, and have been nominated for six, so they got half, which is pretty damn good, I think. I'm not sure what you might think about it, but friggin' amazing, three out of six. Jesus Christ. And it, Dan Auerbach, the singer of the Black Keys and guitarist, he doesn't have a beard in this picture I'm looking at, and holy. He looks way different. He looks like a completely different guy. Like, I'd probably mistake him if it wasn't without the beard. The beard's just noticeable. And speaking of that, I want a beard. That'd be cool. Or, like, just like a... One of those, uh... Weird mustaches that maybe twirl up a little bit. Is that even possible? I don't even know. They wanted to work with Ike Turner. Who in the hell is Ike Turner? I'm gonna assume that's, like, some... Music guy, like, uh, engineer or something like that. I don't know, let's see here. Pitchfork Media reported that the band was collaborating an album with Ike Turner to release in December 2007, but it was rendered impossible Turner's 2007 death. Well, that's sad. He died. Who is this Ike Turner guy? Well, let's pull up the search right here. Ike Turner. Oh, he's, uh... Another, he's an American musician, songwriter, ranger talent, scout, and record producer. His In a career that lasts more half a century, his repertoire included blues, so rock, fun. So yeah, now, now I know why they would want to work with him, because he was like blues and like funk and stuff like that. I don't, I don't really think the Black Keys are funk, they're more blues, but... Oh, uh, yeah. His first recording, Rocket 88, with the King's Rhythm, called... Credited as Jackie Brinson and his Delta Cats. That's a that's a cool band name, Delta Cats. Might be a band name I might think of because I want to be in a band. I have friends who can play drums and stuff, but they just don't want to be in a band, which is kind of fucked. Because who wouldn't want to be in a band? It's cool. Play guitar. I know how to play guitar. 
Uh, I got drummer friends. I got singers. I can sing as a backup guy. Like subdivisions. I don't know. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. Yeah, something like, I don't know. Um, so it's Ike, Ike Turner. Seems kind of, kind of, uh, good. How'd he die, though? Let's see here. Uh, he believed, he told his assistant, Felina Rascool, Rasool, that he believed he was dying and would not make it to Christmas. Turner, Turner died on 12 December. Oh. That's sad. Didn't make it to Christmas. Jeez, that's a that's a tough one for your family, knowing that your father or husband or brother or, or whatever he was to people died before Christmas, the season of giving, enjoying, and having fun. That's really just blown out of the window because of a funeral. His funeral was he held on December twenty second. That's two days before Christmas Eve. Wow. Rest in peace, Ike Turner, I guess. Uh, now, more about the Black Keys. Let's get back on topic here. Uh, they enjoy short films. In February 2011, the band released a short musical film called Howlin' For You. Oh, my. I remember watching that video. I first heard it in, like, NHL 10. It was an amazing song, so then I kept listening to Black Keys music. That's how I got, like, hooked on them, I guess. Oh, I, I, I think, I, I remember that film, there was like this two hot chicks, like one, like her father was killed by the guy, then she eventually fell in love, fell in love with the guy who killed her father, and then like, cut his eye, and then he has like an eye patch on, and then like, uh, there's like this Japanese or Chinese, something like that, samurai chick killing people like a mud trucker. And they're, then the Black Keys, Dan and Patrick, are like sitting there with beers, like some barrows on. It's a sick video. And Sean White's in it, too. A snowboarder. I haven't really heard about him much in the news or anything lately. I don't know where he is, but whatever. It's just no, not snowboarding season. <laughs> I guess that's why. I don't know. Their interviews are hilarious. They spent the summer of 2007 backstage at Lollapalooza talking about, well, nonsense, really. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Just talking about facts, nonsense, Ike Martin. Or Ike Martin. I forgot his name. I forgot his goddamn name. Anyways, their new album is the Fascia El Camino, released this week. Released this week. Yeah, this is definitely old. It was not released this week, but whatever. It was produced by Danger Mouse and Stacks Killer Rock with over 80s glam, but keeps the classic Black Keys groove. 80s glam? What? Say what? Say what? That's worth triple what's right there. I didn't know there's friggin' 80s glam. But whatever. Patrick and Dan are both college dropouts. Both of them made a living mowing lawns and whacking weeds for a slumlord after they dropped out of college. They ended up getting fired for not edging a lawn correctly. See? Sometimes if you get Lucky enough, you don't need no college degree, PhD, or whatever. That's how you get lucky, though. That's how you get, like, in a band, or, like, one of those, like, I'm gonna call it exotic jobs. Like, uh, a band guy. I guess all I can really think of. Well, at the moment, because I know for hockey, you need, like, a certain grade level, but I don't think you need, like, a college degree. You might, I don't know. Don't, uh, quote me on that. I'm kind of dumb, as you guys know. I've only got my grade 8, so... Probably won't get my grade 9, because high school is just way too complicated. I'm not even in high school, so I don't even know yet. If, if any of my viewers, if out of the three viewers that I get, usually, if any of you guys are high school, is it hard as hell, or is it easy? The only reason why I like high school is because of football. You can actually hit. You can actually make contact. Instead of being, oh, touch football, where, like, stiff arms, jukes, they're all useless. You can just... Whap them over the back of the head. There's a touch. Oh, you're down. It's dumb and stupid. They're Beatles fans. Oh, so am I. On the second album, the big come up, they, they cover the Beatles, she said, she said. Yeah, I think I've seen something like that before. Or somewhere said that before. They're on HBO. Their cover of I'll Be Your Man was used on the theme for HBO series Hung. Never heard of Hung. 
Have you heard of Hung? I don't know. Patrick is the founder of Drummer, the band. The band was founded by the Black Keys drummer Patrick Carney, who plays on, who plays bass guitar. He plays bass too. All the members of the band are drummers in the other groups from Hawaii. A band made of drummers called Drummer. What a perfect band name. A bunch of drummers, and their band name is Drummer. Like, I'm not making fun of that, I'm just like emphasizing it. Like, I think that's kind of a little too obvious. But whatever, it's like saying a band of guitarists and call it guitar. But whatever, it's kind of cool. It's, I guess, just Patrick Carney's idea of what he wants to call his band. It's, what, it's depending on what he wants. He's, he's rich and stuff like that. He, he can do what he wants to do, basically. Uh, yeah, so running 11 minutes here so I think I'm gonna end the video here uh, thanks for watching I guess uh, thanks for subscribing uh, give this video some love by giving it a like maybe um, yeah so uh, make sure you look up for my next video like this I think they're called vlogs no I don't really cover my daily life I just talk about topics so I'm gonna call it uh, well these ones where I wear this certain hairstyle is gonna be called the uh, flow episodes so let's just um Sign this off, and this is from Master Joshi signing off on a flow episode. Goodbye.